Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap, and today I'm going to be designing for the Not Just for Boys Kit Club. And I'm going to be using the new Honeycomb Page Kit, which is still available in the shop. And I'm going to be creating this piece of home decor. So I have this sign in my house that says home, and the O is interchangeable. So um, I have these wooden O, I mean, circles, and I just design them however I want, and then it goes on top of the O for my sign. Um, it's magnetic, so these little circles that I have, I glue a magnet to the back, and then it just goes right on there, and it says home, and I can change them out. So I decided that um, this kit is super cute and I'm going to use it for a um, my O in May and um, to start I'm going to use uh, this paper the white and black stripe paper and that's going to be the base of my O so I just um, traced around the wood cut it out and then glued it down just like that as you could see um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out this stencil, which was available in the essentials kit. Uh, sadly, the essentials kit is sold out, so, um, you would have to get this elsewhere if you wanted it. And then this distress oxide is black soot and it is just from my stash. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the black soot through the stencil and add that to the background of this circle, this, oh, and when I go off to wash it, I just rinse it under water since distress oxide, um, you can just rinse with water as long as it hasn't um, set in, which mine hadn't yet. And then I'm going to use this um, Nouveau Crackle Paste and it is in Ivory Coast. It came in the essentials kit, but you can also get it a la carte in the shop. So that's still available. Now I'm bringing out all of the fun stuff. Um, there's some little envelopes available in the shop and I'm gonna get one of the vellum ones to add some florals to it. And then I'm gonna go through the ephemera and find um, any little bits that I wanna put into the uh, vellum envelope or that I want to actually add to the O itself. So you can see here, I've pretty much um, decided what I'm going to use. Don't mind my cat, Malcolm. He's in the background. He's upset because my husband left and he thinks that he went outside without him. But really, my husband left. And so he's looking outside thinking that my husband went outside without him and he's not happy about it. Anyway, um, I'm going to use this green twine that was um, in the packaging of my kits. And I'm going to tie a bow that's going to um, go in the front of the O. And um, I'm still just messing around with that bow. Um, so I'm kind of deciding how I'm going to put it on, on the O. At the same time, I'm waiting for that crackle paste to dry as well because it was still kind of wet. It does dry fairly quickly though, so especially since I put a pretty um, thin layer on. Um, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and start building this up and I'm going to use um, either my Tombow tape runner or I'm going to use my foam adhesive squares to go ahead and build this up. 
And um, just to ask a question, um, when you use a stencil on your layout for mixed media, first of all, let me know if you like to use stencils and if you like to use mixed media. Second of all, um, this stencil that I use is very thin. And I've noticed with my thin stencils, if I use a thick medium on them, like this crackle paste, it's hard to wash that. So um, let me know if, like, so I kind of avoid to use um, this kind of medium with my thin stencils like this. So let me know if you do, and if you do, do you have a tip or trick for washing it? And, or let me know if you're like me and you're just scared to use it and um, won't do it. <laughs> so just let me know below in the comments. Um, I'm still building this up, finding out where I'm gonna go. I did fussy cut that one um, floral that I, is in my hand right now. And um, there it goes, it's on now. And then there's, th this piece of ephemera says, be yourself and it is a little tiered tray and it is adorable. Um, by the way, this is a uh, fancy pants line. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. Hold on, let me check. This is called the Honey and Bee Collection from Fancy Pants Designs. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my um, twine on and I glued down and then I put tape over it so it would hopefully be um, super secure. I do fiddle around with it a lot in this video, and I'm sorry for that. It's just, I don't know where exactly I want it, what I'm going to do, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and put that foam, um, dot, those foam squares on that T, T, tiered um, tray, and stick it down there. And then I'm gonna mess with the bow again, and then I'm going to untie it so that I can put these little metal charms on it. And then I'm gonna tie it again, and then I'm gonna mess with it some more. <laughs> um, So now we're coming to the end of my video. Um, I'm just adding some black splatters to finish this off. And then I'm gonna show you some close-ups. Here they come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, answer my question in the comment if you can about mixed media and stencils and thicker media on the stencils. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.